a done thing to write on the walls, but here you can make an exception. This is Crocodile Harry's, found at Kubapedi in central South Australia. Harry actually lives here. He's carved his home as a series of dugouts inside a hill and he's filled them with the most extraordinary collections. Thousands of people come here every year just to see them. And many films have been made here too, including two Australian feature films. Part of Mad Max was filmed in this bedroom and outside they filmed scenes from Ground Zero. Now there's no shortage of rock at Cuba Pedi. It's all these mountains are made of. But rock isn't always where you want it and it's heavy to move. So for the film, they made horse rocks out of foam, very light. You can move them where you wanted them. Now I should explain that Crocodile Harry's is a real place. It's a dugout home and Crocodile Harry lives there. But it's not easy to film in the maze of passageways that really exist here. So false dugout homes had to be made for the film set. You can see the construction of timber, which outlined the whole thing. It runs down here. Onto it was nailed wire mesh. And onto that was fixed foam, which was faced with plaster and finally painted to look like the real thing. But it's not just the film sets that make this place interesting. The collection here includes curiosities, museum exhibits and sculptures, many of which Harry does himself. And they are hanging on the walls or set into them. And that presents a few problems in the dugout. All you have to do is to grab a pickaxe, attack the walls, open up a cavity and shove in your prize exhibit. But it's not just the things collected here that make it so interesting. This is actually a huge autograph book. Kubapedi is probably Australia's most international town. Of the two to three thousand people living in it, there are 43 nationalities. And when you add the tourists that come here from all over the world, the proportion must increase tremendously. And they're all asked to sign their name, not in a real autograph book, but on the whitewashed walls of Harry's dugout. And they come from everywhere. There's Brazil, Iceland, Sweden, England, Germany, everywhere. And there's space for you too. This is the children's tree. These discs are actually glass discs from the water purification plant that provides fresh water for Cuba PD. Well, you grab one of these, Harry will give you the paints, and you paint whatever message or scene you like. And then your contribution is nailed to the tree so that it can grow. Well, when you're in Cuba PD, come out to Crocodile Harry's and make your mark. We did. I want to know. Curiosity.